Yo, Rashid here from rbsinglessons.com. All right, I'm going to analyze, oh, I'm going to react to, sorry, and analyze um, Dimash doing Unforgettable Day. It's the next one in the list for him. Let's go. Yeah. 
song too. Okay, let's check it out. Let's analyze a bit. That pitch. I'm doing the next line. <laughs> See how perfect this is. Ah, oh, so perfect. Really, really nice. Really, really smooth. Mm. Ah, see that? That kills me. Little things like that. Mm. Lovely. Really smooth. Oh, and the vibrato. I love the lighting in the background, it's absolutely incredible. The stage. Really beautiful. can tell how we can tell it's falsetto i think it's because he moves his head when he does it because sometimes you move your head when you're flipping into falsetto let's check it out you'll be able to hear it clearer when it's slow his head right before he starts it. Yeah. Tell me if I'm wrong, Dimash. No, <laughs> and the high mascot. So beautiful. And it does a Mmm, doing those runs down. Ah, oh, so so crisp. Second verse was very similar to the first verse, so not much to talk about that's different there. Power pose. <laughs> Love it. You know, it's not easy to act like that when you're up on stage. It takes a lot of, um, you have to learn a lot how to be on stage, to be like a character. You know, he's got that down. It's so awesome. I was just like grooving there. Now notice here, he takes the thing out of his ear, the in-ears. They're called in-ears and they can hear themselves and the music in their ears because when you're on stage, you don't necessarily hear yourself that clearly or the music clearly because of the positions of the speakers. 
So you wear in ear in ear monitors, they're called, so you can hear yourself while you're on a big stage like that. But sometimes the mix of the sound in your ears can get a bit difficult, make it actually difficult to hear yourself, particularly when things get loud, like in this circumstance where the opera or sort of the background singers are getting really loud. And there's a lot of them. So they might be too loud in his ears. So what he'll do is he take one out so he can hear himself more clearly within where he is so he can hear himself if you know what i mean because maybe his voice wasn't loud enough inside his ear monitors uh, you'll see singers do that a lot when they're live on stage because they're trying their hardest to hear themselves clearly and give the best sound possible because sometimes you can go off pitch just from not hearing yourself or you might sing too high than you're able to or he probably wouldn't <laughs> but um yeah, yeah. <laughs> That power, mm, that belting. Let me check that. C sharp. Oh, but he does it so powerfully operating. C sharp to C. Damn. Right. So powerful. E. E. With the hold. Ah, that high. <laughs> Damn. Scream there. Oh, that belting. F. You know what I love about it? It's like every different, er there's a, every couple of notes, his voice kind of sounds different. As he's changing, you know, as he's getting higher, this really kind of unique belting sound he's created up so high, it kind of changes. Like some in the lower end, it's like really thick and operatic, and then in the higher end, higher end, it's like more thinner. So it's just really interesting the different sounds he creates. And sometimes he'll take the upper end really high, like he's taking it now in F5. <laughs> C6 C D6 But that's beautiful like the phrase is beautiful I'm not just marking out the notes I'm just curious what the notes are because it's so impressive but I'm actually listening I'm actually really enjoying the phrases because they're just incredible the um, the intensity it's just like whoa and the 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 choices of notes that he's doing it's really interesting sounds low when he does it it's so big far out like it's high but compared to his other high notes it's, it makes it sound like it's low amazing and with the hold it's hard to hold a note that long with a really clean vibrato like that as well at that volume so this is like ridiculous stuff man and then the tenderness okay i'll stop there and of course the lovely smile on the end look at that Oh yeah. 
All right, guys, I'm Rashid Hayek from rmbsinginglessons.com. If you want to find out more about me, check me out there. I've got plenty of free stuff there. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.